In a max supply project like Decred, time can be the great equalizer. Coin distribution in the first 10 years can be a strong indicator on the long-term outcome of whether a project will reach its goal of becoming predominantly decentralized. The aim is to reach as broad a user base as possible where the majority of the community are self-custodians of their own coins. Decred is building out services and tools to make this process simpler, safer, and more robust for everyday users. The Decrediton wallet is the integration point for these developments. Include, and this includes a non-custodian decentralized exchange called DCR DEX, the Lightning Network, and a non-custodian buying and staking system. So let's look at how Decred is working on gaining greater supply distribution. So initially, Decred had a pre-mine of 8% of the coin supply, which is 1.68 million DCR. Now 4% of this, or 840,000 DCR, got distributed to the core development team, Company Zero. And the other 4% was airdropped to a group of people who signed up for a proportion of this amount. The proportion ended up being 282.6 DCR coins each. So this was distributed between 2,972 carefully vetted participants. The pre-mine for developers was a justified amount due to the fact that they don donated so much of their time, money and energy getting the project to the point of release. The reward would also be an incentive for them to continue their development efforts and stake their coins to help secure the project during its infancy. The airdrop, on the other hand, helped Decred gain recognition from a larger audience during these early stages. The next distribution factor is the block reward. As an incentive for wider growth, the reward for each block is distributed to members of the community that have skin in the game and want to participate in the long-term success of the project. Block reward distribution is split 60% to the miner of the block, 30% to the five stakeholding tickets, and 10% to the Decred Treasury to sustain the development and outreach of the project. Distributing the block reward to more participating entities will mean that the coins will circulate in different forms. For instance, miners are likely to send their coins to exchanges for conversion to pay for expenses and receive profits. Stakers are likely to hold and accumulate their coins to buy further tickets. And then finally, the treasury will hold and distribute the coins to people who want to help build the project. All of these actions control the amount of coins available at any one time and effectively lower the available supply for decentralized exchanges. Like Bitcoin, Decred will produce a maximum of 21 million coins over the next 100 years. But rather than halving every four years, which is seen as an undesirable supply shock, Decred completes this process more smoothly by reducing the block reward by approximately 1% every 21 days. The larger portion of the supply inflation will be completed in the first 10 years, where the supply will reach 18 million coins by 2027. The next 10 years will produce just 1 million coins by 2037, and the following 2 million coins will be produced over the next 80 years. With the lower inflation model after 2027, the full effects of the maximum supply will start to come into play. The likelihood that participants will start to hold their coins for longer periods will be higher due to the expected future returns. Currently, the biggest centralizing factor for distribution is the exchange process. The cryptocurrency market is young and extremely speculative. And because of this, a lot of what happens hinges on the price action from centralized exchanges. The more an exchange holds of a currency, the more they can manipulate the price and the perceived trading volume. This is largely due to trading on centralized exchanges being predominantly off-chain. As the space matures and moves towards decentralized exchanges like Decred's DCR DEX, you will hopefully start to see coins become more widely distributed as they get removed from exchanges and are held in individuals' wallets. The final part of the distribution cycle is for a crypto project to become a usable currency in all forms. In order to achieve this final goal, a project needs to build the tools that fulfill the following criteria, a store of value, a medium of exchange, and a unit of account. To become a store of value, a currency needs to have a controlled coin supply. A max cap supply will intensify this in the long term. A store of value will also need to be secure and unforgeable. Decred has built out systems and tools that make it one of the strongest projects in this area. 
To become a medium of exchange, a currency needs peer-to-peer -peer tools that facilitate and encourage people to earn their wages, sell their products and services in the coin. Currently, there are very few tools that facilitate these actions without inserting a rent-seeking middleman. The unit of account is going to be the hardest element to achieve as the price volatility is likely to be unstable for a long time to come. To become a unit of account, people accepting the coin need to fix their wages, products and services to a specific value denominated in the currency. So let's not forget, decentralization and widespread distribution go hand in hand.